Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, hello, Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. Today, your weekly horoscope, Scorpio. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, remember, Scorpio. As well, if you enjoy this tarot reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, Scorpio, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Uh, also, remember, Scorpio, when it comes to my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you, you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my tarot cards are here just to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider Scorpio but never making the decision in your life because I believe that it's your life to live not me and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said let's get into your weekly reading your weekly horoscope today Scorpio. So I pulled some tarot cards for you already just so I could get a uh, <clears throat> an idea of where it is that you guys are currently at in your journey, right? So let me show you these cards right now. We have with you the Ten of Fire or the Ten of Wands for you, Scorpio. We have the Eight of Water or the Eight of Cups. We have the Knight of Water or the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Six of Air or the Six of Swords in the normal tarot. Um, I like to cover the element and what they represent in normal tarot, if you're curious. So let's just give, give me a moment, Scorpio, just so I could take this in and figure out where you guys are at. You know, with these cards individually, individually rather, Scorpio, I would say that this would be a pretty heavy reading. But this Knight of Water and this, yeah, this Knight of Water really emphasizes um, a positive message with these cards. So it lets me know what it is you're coming out of. Uh, it seems to be like a, uh, almost like a giant weight being lifted off of your shoulders in some way, Scorpio. I don't know what this is about, but let's see. Let's see what's going on here. I know this card's going all the way at the bottom. And then right here, I feel as if we need to... <sighs> yeah, we're gonna put these right here. All right, don't mind me, Scorpio. I like to see Terra as like a puzzle, so I like to figure things out. I like put the pieces where they belong. So uh, let's just get into your reading now, Scorpio. Uh, we're gonna start with your Ten of Fire or your Ten of Wands. This card says, too much work, uh, accept help from others, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. No, Scorpio, honey, this is where I'm going to call you out a little bit, because I'm pretty sure you guys have gotten this card quite often, Scorpio. Uh, you guys are my zodiac sign that has been consistently always been the one to uh, overwork themselves, to really um, just put a lot on their plate, putting piling a lot um, on their shoulders, taking on a lot of responsibility that they probably shouldn't even need to be taking on. Um, but here's the thing, before I get too much into that message here, um, just intuitively, just from your other cards here, Scorpio, I feel as if this is something that you're rectifying. I feel like this is something you're putting distance between. Um, I'll explain it later on when we get to your other core cards, but uh, let's just start pulling some clarifiers for this, right? Let's see what detail we can get. Let's see what this baggage is about in the first place, right? What has been, what has been in the very first place, been weighing heavy on you in the first place? I just said in the first place like three times in a row. Uh, yeah, let's just see some cards here. So uh, we have the King of Wands. We have the Fool card. And then we have the Temperance in the Reverse. So no longer is there like this period for you, Scorpio, of being in them, feeling as if you're in limbo with something. It, it can't help but feel like you guys have uh, 
finally gotten closure to a situation that has just left you for a while. I feel, especially since it's with the Ten of Wands, this is something that like, it probably has been like something that you've been racking in your brain every day. I don't get the sense that this is something that's been like, um, necessarily like crippling for you but it's one of those things that's like i mean these 10 wands have been stacked up on you for a while now so this has probably been like a long-standing thing and even if it's just like not necessarily like a big deal right a big deal as in like nothing dramatic because it's like something that's just consistently like you don't know where you stand right with this temperance card as at one point you didn't know where you stood with it um now i kind of feel like things are just like clearing up uh, you have a much more clearer vision and just a lot more action being taken. With this Temperance card, when it's in the in upright, normally this is a card of, uh, you know, just spirit asking you to have patience, right? Uh, balancing your emotions. And so when it's in the inverted, uh, normally you would see this as a sense of impatience, but I'm kind of getting intuitively Scorpio. This is more of a... Um, I can't help but feel like you're just kind of uh, coming to, with this ton of fire, I just feel like there's no longer this need of patience, there's no, no longer this sense of um, playing like a waiting game or trying to figure something out. I feel like you're just full speed ahead um, and kind of just moving on. Now, whether the situation you got closure with or you just got to a point, Scorpio, where you just don't care, honey, right? Uh, I just feel as if this 10 of wands situation here, um, it's just slowly becoming no longer relevant for whatever reason in your life. Uh, with the King of Wands and the Fool card, the King of Wands, if you look up the meaning of the card, Scorpio, it is the card that is asking you to just focus and communicate with uh, a vision, lead with a vision, right? Really being a trailblazer, uh, setting the example right? Very much so motivated by passion. Uh, you set the example and others are watching you as like the lion, right? Uh, something I just wanted to point out. And so this is, this fool card makes it interesting though, because this is letting me know really it's like a fresh start almost. So maybe there's like for in your, maybe in just like your mind or how you're approaching something, Scorpio, it's like you're seeing something with fresh new eyes uh, or just I don't know, it's kind of just like, I feel like you're just wiping the slate clean. And I feel like this Ten of Wands is that slate, right? You're just kind of dropping this baggage for whatever reason, whether it's just from uh, outside closure or just self-closure that you've come to terms with. Uh, I kind of just see you moving on from it, finally, which is beautiful, right? Uh, really confirming to me what I was sensing. So we have going now into this Eight of Water or this Eight of Cups. This card says a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, and spiritual and emotional growth. Now, Scorpio, this is a card of distance. This is a card of why I felt as if you're putting distance between you and that Ten of Wands, which is really just, we'll just call it, we'll just call it stress, right? We all have stresses in our life. Whatever those Ten of Wands, you know, each of those wands could be just a different facet of your life. One could be your love life, social life, work life. You know, it just, it just feels as if like, um, and I don't feel like it was over one specific event either, Scorpio. I feel like this has been like an accumulation of things. Um, some good, some bad, right? Just as the Temperance card implies, right, with that yin and yang energy, right? Uh, some good, some bad that you get closure in, closure with, and regardless of it, you just are seeing things just in a much more clear perspective, uh, and you're just finally able to have the closure that you needed to move on from certain things and uh, just keep things going, right? You, you're no longer in limbo, you're no longer need in this place of trying to be like, all right, uh, you know, trying to work through like family traumas or just traumas in general. You're not trying to make, you don't, you're at a place right now, Scorpio, where it's like, you get it, right? And so now that you got it, you're in this place of um, ready to just to go forward, ready to just create. So now let's get some clarifiers for that Eight of Water or the Eight of Cups. We have the Three of Wands coming in, Scorpio, the Devil card, and the Knight of Cups following you, actually. So truly, we're gonna put this card to the side because this message right here 
Actually, we're going to just address this double first and foremost. This is what it is you're putting distance between yourself with. This is what it is you're moving on from Scorpio with the Eight of Water, Eight of Cups, right? And normally with, if you hear my cat, don't worry about that, by the way. Hopefully she's not too loud. Um, normally with the Eight of Cups, this is a card of... Um, you're going moving on to something more fulfilling right or like that's the idea that's the hope right and so we're gonna just maintain with that optimism but it kind of confirms to me though like you finally putting distance between this thing this devil um doesn't have to be like a toxic thing it could just be something that's just no longer serving for you in your life anymore right when the eight of cups moves on it's a situation of um you know just going into a direction that fulfills you more finding to find your purpose rather and so with the three of wands here and the knight of cups confirming to me uh this is a good sign scorpio i would say start paying attention to i can't help but feel like there are certain events maybe certain things that might just be said repeatedly in your life if you're seeing something just repeatedly coming up just coming up like coming up and just like random things so like you know I, i'll use this as an example because this just happened to me the other day i was wearing this chain and i was at a grocery store scorpio and someone uh the lady that i was talking to that was checking me out at the grocery store uh she is just like she pointed at it and it's like oh it's so funny that you're wearing that gold chain because i just on my lunch break was watching a documentary about how these gold chains were made and so it's like uh she kept on getting signs about gold chains now whatever her business is like whatever with gold chains right maybe it's nothing relevant but isn't that concept where it's just like you know maybe you've been thinking about a certain avery maybe an avery or bird has been popping up in your dreams and like people keep bringing up like a specific bird like a raven or an owl keeps popping up in different ways right take that as, like regardless of what it is right whether it's a bird or whether it's just like a um specific career opportunity right or it's like youtube or whatever right something i feel like is being repetitively brought up to you right uh, with the three, three of wands here, it's like the breadcrumbs, the knight of cups is like something being given to you, something being offered. So it's, I just can't help but feel like spirits really, uh, repetitively, um, dropping these signs and just being like, oh, hey, remember we talked about that one thing that you've been always wanting to do, Scorpio, remember that? Wake up again and be like, oh yeah, like, remember that? You know, it's just constant signs of the same thing that I'm feeling for you, uh, just through dis different vessels. So we go on from the Eight of Water, the Eight of Cups, into the Six of Air or the Six of Swords. Now, this card says things are looking up at the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip. So Scorpio, at this time, uh, again, this is, I want to point out the part of the end of a difficult situation because I am, I'm going to be honest, Scorpio, I am guilty of being really optimistic when it comes to my readings, right? Because I like to just think the best of everyone and just like the situations and of course everyone's going to live to their highest potential, right? And like all the situations be like, oh yeah, of course, like that closure happened. Clearly, it's going to be for healing. It's going to be something positive, right? But this is why I feel like it's a positive thing that, like, you like normally again, normally with these cards, it'd be like, oh, okay, like you're really going through a heavy transitional phase, but you keep on having these like sprinklings of really positive energy, whereas it's like, yeah, things are really looking up for you. You're moving on. Um, I just feel like the end of that difficult situation again, Scorpio just goes back to that uh, Ten of Wands energy of where uh you no longer are having to handle this anymore you're no longer in this place of limbo it's just something i keep on i feel like i've even said this for your last week's reading scorpio where it's just like this worst sense of like limbo i don't remember if you were coming out of that limbo still or like you were in this place of feeling like limbo with something and not knowing how to handle a situation so be sure to check out last week's reading for that but yeah i just feel like overall you guys are on the right path for wherever it is that you are wanting to head to, wherever it is that you are having a desire to um, lean into further because of those three of wands signs that we we're talking about. So now we get into your Knight of Water or the Knight of Cups for the second time. This card says falling in love or a wedding proposal, a need to balance emotions, and an invitation to a social event. <clears throat> 
So Scorpio, something I'm going to say is take any opportunity that you can to uh, put yourself in social situations. These two cards right here are already emphasizing for you, Scorpio, to Get yourself out there, putting yourself out there in whatever way that means to you, whether that's in how are this reading is resonating, right? Whether it's socially, romantically, whether it's career wise, there's such a message from spirit trying to get you out of your shell, right? And this, again, all positive things, right? These two cards really, is, again, it's that consistent sprinkling of very positive messages coming towards you. Now, I'm not going to neglect uh the love aspect of it the elephant in the room right maybe for some of you scorpios if you're going moving on from like a rough social for love situation i definitely see something coming up for you pretty quickly with this once you put distance right it does seem to be like there's someone already prepped up on your path in the process of walking towards you but scorpio we always will get into your uh, love and social readings in specific as well as your career as like its own separate entity which I guess we can technically just start now uh, can't we Scorpio so let's just see what's going on for you in this current state for your love and social situation but I just want to say overall Scorpio you guys are really uh, on the right path I thought I was gonna have to scold you guys but it's showing, it's showing to me that uh, you guys have it under control if i were to just advise you of anything scorpio is you constantly have the message of uh your emotions making sure your emotions are in check uh, especially with all those cups cards that temperance card that was such an emphasis um and yeah don't really find ways to get closure and just to like if there's been stuff hanging over your head and just not sure how to uh handle the situation find a way to bring closure to it this week because it's like you, your life has to move on right so let's see what's going on in my scorpio's love situation and social situation right now you guys have the ooh, good cards kind of yeah good cards ace of water or the ace of cups king and seven of air or king and seven of swords so scorpio I see you opening yourself up to a situation. Uh, again, I don't know if you guys have recently, and I say recently, and I guess recently is very subjective, but I don't know if you were not really necessarily, you know, I was saying like you felt like you were in limbo with something, and this could be a situation where you felt like you're in limbo with someone, right? You didn't know where you stood with them, and vice versa right and i can't help but feel like you're opening your heart or opening yourself up to the idea of reconnecting with someone and just allowing a more depthful connection right uh, especially with this king of air and the seven of air this i am not gonna lie and probably at one at first scorpio you probably weren't really trusting of this energy or maybe trust not trusting sounds really aggressive doesn't it scorpio it was more so you couldn't quite figure out the energy you couldn't quite figure out the person and like what made them tick i kind of feel like you're getting a better either a better sense of that person or just like just getting your own mental in control and kind of uh realizing like the seven of swords energy this distrustful energy just isn't really providing any kind of depth for you in your situation now and so because of this it's because of like this king of air which is very much so responsible mature energy you know with thoughts i feel like again ace of cups ace of water you're just opening up more and being like all right like this is safe it's just, that's the thing i just feel like you feel safe now where you're realizing it's safe to open up to a situation again after feeling like you were in limbo for so long. So really good cards for that, uh, for your love and social situation, Scorpio. Now, let's get into my Scorpio's financial and career situation for those that are interested in hearing about that. Before we close out this reading for you, Scorpio, let's see what's going on in your financial and career situation. Let's see here. I'm going to pull this one and this one and this one. So let's get into this, Scorpio. You guys have the four of earth or the four, no, not four, five of earth or the five of pentacles. You guys have the awakening card, Archangel Gabriel. The four of water or the four of cups. 
and then the High Priestess card, Archangel Hamion. So, let's take this in for a moment, Scorpio. Let's see where you guys are currently at. I do, I'm not going to lie, I do get this sense of frustration, Scorpio. I get this sense of where you're really trying to tap into your intuition and being like, okay, where do I need to go next? Right? Even though some of you have been just burning yourself and keeping yourself extremely busy with work, whether it's just not fulfilling you or it just isn't enough anymore. And just like you're searching for more, right? Maybe at one point it was good, but now it's just like you're just ready for growth. You're ready to um, upgrade, Scorpio, I feel. But you're not quite sure how. Or you're not quite sure what to do, right? And so because of this, it feels as if like maybe you keep on sinking energy into the same thing, but. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that was. I just feel as if Scorpio, um, with this five of pentacles and the, it just lets me, it has me feeling as if like you, like what it is that you've been doing, you just don't feel like that's like necessarily quite your calling anymore in that way. Maybe it's like you're just wanting to shift like minor details in it. But overall, there's just some sense of like editing, where it's just like the thing that you've been doing, it just isn't hitting in the way that it used to, I suppose. And so the Four of Cups comes in of considering other opportunities. Uh, again, this is what I was saying before, of where it's like, I feel like spirits leaving some breadcrumbs of where it is you need to go. Look for repetitive messages, right? Because remember with that Three of Wands that, that we had before and that Nine of Cups, they're really, I really get the sense that spirit is in the process if they're not already scorpio presenting some powerful messages and powerful uh signals of where it is you need to go to next right high priestess card with the awakening card of archangel gabriel right i think this card itself is looking at things from a different perspective connecting to your intuition more scorpio so let's just be real right let's have an honest conversation with ourselves scorpio uh, do you, is it that you don't know what it is that you want to do? Or, Scorpio, you know what it is that you want to do, but there's this sense of being guarded, the sense of um, not wanting to expose yourself and be vulnerable in some way um, that keeps you back, that keeps you from uh, really letting your flame shine brightly, right? So just a question to ask yourself, right? I don't think I need to go into too more detail with that. Some food for thought, honey. But uh, yeah, that is the reading that I have for you this week, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this weekly horoscope message. If you did, remember to leave a comment, give this video a like, and subscribe. And then also, Scorpio, I do weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, not just Scorpio. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, uh, send them one of my horoscope videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, I always have my website and all my links down in the comments below. Uh, so you can book a reading with me, follow me on my social medias and all that, Scorpio. But I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Until next time, though, I love you so much.